it's uh, nighttime now in the national park in the desert. It is, uh, it's really dark. <laughs> I mean, here's how dark it is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty dark. So, uh, <laughs> we're walking to this, um, dirt road area. Uh, it's way, 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 uh, you know, kind of in the park. And, um, we're going to be looking for, uh, insects. Hey! How do I get over there? <laughs> Walk into any Choya cactus, cacti. Wow, and here we are. Kim. Yeah. Hey, hi. hi. Are you our resident scientist? I am. I'm I can tell by your headgear. You have, you have, you're all set, <laughs> decked out. Yeah, come prepared. All you have to do is have an LED black light flashlight and a gallon of water. The gallon of water is uh, translucent enough to diff diffract all of the light and Look scatter it about and make it into a uh, bug lantern. And who are you, mysterious sir, with the glowing bottle? My name is Jacob Higgins. I'm the assistant curator of arthropods at Northern Arizona University. Okay, so in addition to the uh, black lights that they're going to set up, they're setting up these very bright white lights with sheets. And that's going to also attract uh, a lot of different night insects. Okay, we now have a bus full of kids. They're going to help us do the collecting. And here they come. So first we are going to find spots that look like good bug homes. Because we want them to be full of bugs to come to our lights. Wrong way. Then we're going to put our death cheese in there. And we're going to murder some bugs. But we're going to keep a single tear for them because we never like to kill them. And then we will come back. So, Jonathan, 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 you want a bucket? Oh, you guys have one? Yeah, you want it? Yeah, you want it? I can't carry it. You can take it. Okay, we'll take it. Which is good because that's what we are. Oh my god, Oh my god, it's so a lot of the uh, tarantula hunting and spider hunting wasps tend to fly at night, actually day and night, to try and find uh, things for their young. Beetles down here, and if you guys want to get up close and take a nice look at them, and then just uh, rotate around, some other people can get a good opportunity to see the smaller stuff. Baby white scorpion? Yeah, that could have been a centroides. The centroides are pretty common in the deserts. So like around here in Phoenix, you'll find some of the centroides. Yeah. And those are the most venomous ones in Arizona. They're little tiny guys. And they're super venomous. So those are the kind that you don't want to be stuck with here. So what they're doing now is feeding a black widow spider that was found on oh found underneath the bench here. And they're giving it a little snap. Ooh, drama. Can I try and catch the black widow? No, not. I don't think that's probably a good idea. The, oh, there's the black widow. People keep asking, can I catch it? Can I catch it? No, you can't. No, 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 <laughs> Dinosaur. You have what? Two ant lions, one beetle, about four hoppers, and about 20 moths. Wow. Four hoppers? Wow. That green one's a cricket too. It's called a snowy tree cricket. Yeah, snowy tree cricket. We do? And I have a little rope. Why should I mention that? Wow. Yeah. Assassin bugs, they can really sting, can't they? Yes, they have these long noses that curl up, uh -huh. and then they'll shoot as prey, then eat it. Like a mosquito? Yeah, almost. Okay. But its little nose is thinner than a pin. Wow. But they can hurt a person? Um, apparently. Well, you get permission, and then you have to write something for it?